Hello and welcome to Speed7 Studio. Today you learn how to create and edit the program blocks. And for that we need a project tree. Click on view and then on project tree. Now on your project tree, under your device, go to the program blocks folder. Notice that by default there's already an OB1. To create a new OB, right click on program blocks, then click on Add Organization Block. You can name it, select its number, and its programming language. If you click on More, you can enter further details. The OB Editor has two sections, the Declaration section where you can define all the variables used in the block and the program section where you enter the instructions to be executed by the control. To add a new variable, select its data type, name it and then press enter. To create a new FC, right click on program blocks and click on add function. You can name it select its number and its programming language. If you click on more, you can enter further details. The FC editor has two sections as well, the declaration section and the program section. To add a new variable, choose a group, select its data type, name it and then press enter. To create a new FB, right click on program blocks and click on add function block. You can name it, select its number and its programming language. If you click on more, you can enter further details. The FB editor also has two sections, the declaration section and the program section. To add a new variable, Choose a group, select its data type, name it, and then press enter. To add a new DB, right click on program blocks, then click on add data block. You can name it, select its number, and choose its type. Global DB, so that all blocks have access to the data, or instance DB, so that only the assigned FB have access to the data. If you click on more, you can enter further details. To add a new variable, select its data type, name it, and then press enter. To create a new structure block, right click on program blocks and click on add new user defined type. You can name it and select its number. If you click on more, you can enter further details. To add a new variable, select its data type, name it, and then press enter. If you edit blocks, inconsistencies can arise such as interface conflicts between two blocks. Transferring consistent blocks to the control can lead to processing errors in the user program. To check and repair inconsistencies, go to Project, then click on Consistency Check and Repair. Now you have a list with all the inconsistencies. Click on Next to repair them. To add a variable table, on your project tree, under your device, go to PLC variables and click on add variable table. Name it and click on OK. To add a variable, type its operand and press enter. Before transferring the program, you need to compile it. Go to project, then click on compile. To transfer your program, right click on your device and click on transfer software. 
then click on transfer